Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, church. Good morning to you all from wherever you are watching us from. My name is Julian Cheyune, and I would like to welcome you for our online Sunday service today. And I pray that the word of God will challenge you from wherever you are, that it will stir up your spirit. As Dominion Church, we are a ministry that is committed to the word, worship, and witness. And we are live on our social media platforms every Tuesday. That is on Facebook and YouTube for Bible study with our resident pastor, Pastor John Bazira. As he's unveiling the book of Revelation, the Bible says that let us hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to the churches. Learn what the Lord is saying. See how God sees your life according to his perspective. And on Fridays from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., we have the Holy Ghost Revival Service with our senior pastor, Reverend Robert Kaziwe. In this place, we are sharing prayer requests. As the Dominion family, we stand with you to pray with you, to make sure that as a church, as a body of Christ, that we get answered prayers. And on Sunday, like it is today, the Bible says that a day in the courts of the Lord is better than a thousand that you could spend elsewhere. And you have chosen to be in the, in the courts of the Lord. I want to challenge you to stir up your spirit. As we venture into our service from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Let the word of God build you up. Allow it to work in you so that we cannot remain the same. I would like to encourage all of us that we can take part in tithing, giving offerings. If you cannot come up to church, the, the numbers to send the tithes to are on our screens. So please take a part in that. Our pastor always tells us that whatever you give to the Lord does not remain with you, but it goes into your future. It is speaking to those generations that are ahead of you. I would like also to encourage us to those that have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe. And those that haven't liked our Facebook page, please like it. Encourage others, share the link at Dominion Church International Uganda. Spread the gospel as you share that link. May you be blessed as you share it. And at this time, I would like to welcome the Dominion Praise Ministries to take us through another time of praise and worship. From me and the Dominion family, we love you. to testify about the goodness of the Lord Woo! I've been in in and out of jobs praise the Lord Amen. and I reached a point and I got fed up Amen. you go for an interview you pass the, you don't even they don't call, call you back you go for one interview then they tell you we'll, we'll get back to you praise the Lord Amen. I don't know if someone out there was like me Praise the Lord. Amen. When you are called, you're only called when you're needed. When the gig is done, they no longer need you. Praise the Lord. So I got to a point and I felt like I was tired. Amen. Amen. I even started asking God so many questions. I told him, God, why me? The heathens are doing better than me. Praise the Lord. Amen. I felt like it wasn't going way right in my side. Praise the Lord. So I speak to the pastor and he tells me, why don't you just start something of your own? Praise the Lord. Amen. I did not have the capital, but I had a business mind, a, a business plan. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let me tell you, we serve a God that is bigger. Amen. He is bigger than that unemployment. Amen. He's bigger than cancer. Amen. He's bigger than worry. Yeah, amen. Praise the Lord. I got the capital. Amen. <laughs> So right now, I'm my own boss. <laughs> so I need you to stand up on your feet. Amen. I need you to stand up on your feet and declare that God is bigger. Amen. That God is bigger than any situation. Amen. He's bigger than anything that is impossible. Come on, clap your hands to Jesus. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. 
overcome, I overcome, I boldly testify.
there is nothing like your presence, oh God. There is nothing that is in your, in your presence, oh God. There is nothing like, like your presence, oh God. Come on, just lift up your voice and worship the Lamb of God. Desire to have more and more and more of Jesus. Desire to be in his presence. Desire to worship him. Forget your worries. Forget your problems. Forget your sickness. I say forget everything that is distracting you from being in the presence of the Lord. Come on, just raise your voice to the Lamb of God. He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of the lifting of our hands. God, we worship your name, Jesus. You're more than enough for us. You're more than enough for every... <laughs> Come on, somebody just worship the Lamb of God. My God. Oh God, there is none like you. My Lord, there is none like you, Jesus. <laughs> this is from our hearts, oh God. This is from our minds. This is from our hands. Uh, we raise our hands up to the heavens. Uh, Lord, we pray that you shall have your way. Uh, there is none like you, El Shaddai, Adonai. We worship your name. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Fill this place with you, oh God. Heal the broken hearts, oh Lord. Uh, oh, change lives, oh God. Destiny changer, may you change, oh God. Lord, we magnify your name, oh God. You are a beautiful God. You are the most high God. You are the ancient of days. You are the promise keeping God. Nobody like you, God. Nobody like you. Nobody can like you, Jesus. Shiva Kumutima Nemuido was a chibuka Lelo Chiese Chayana Okubela Wako when Chagala Kulembela on Twale Uziba Mukwe. Shiva kumuti makwange ne mubiro oso chivuka lelo chirese senchayana okubera wako kwencha kala kulembera onswale uziba mukwe.
content in every circumstance. Jaira, you are enough. Said I will be content in every circumstance.
every night. Sing his gyro. Gyro. You are enough. Said I will be. I will be content in every circumstance. You are gyro. You are enough. Come on, sing it from your heart. His gyro. Amen and amen and amen, amen and amen. amen. Let the church say amen. Let the saints say amen. Let the angels of the Lord say amen. Let even the demons acknowledge and say amen. And the word amen simply means our God reigns. So somebody say amen. Amen and amen. amen. And amen. Hallelujah and amen. amen. Hallelujah and amen. To our God, to our Savior, to our King, to our Deliverer, to our Rock, be all the glory and be all the honor forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Amen. When our Lord Jesus was taught, teaching us about our Lord's prayer, he concluded by that prayer and he said, For thine. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you praise and we give you honor for your goodness, for your kindness, for your mercy, for your acceptance of us. We bless you and we honor you. And in the name of Jesus, we submit our lives to you now. We submit our spirits to you right now. We submit our minds to you right now. And we submit everyone who is hearing this message. And we submit them to you. And we refuse every wandering thing Thought. We refuse every oppressing spirit. We refuse every work of Satan to confuse, to oppress, to, 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 to depress, to kill and to destroy. We refuse and we render powerless in the name of Jesus. And now, Lord, we open our hearts, we open our lives to the Lordship of Jesus, to the healing of Jesus, to the teaching grace of the Holy Spirit, to the preaching anointing of the Holy Spirit, to take over in the name of Jesus. And let the church say, 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 Amen. It's now about a month since we began this journey of following the ministry of Jesus. And I believe in following the ministry of Jesus, we will become fishers of men, as he said. I know by following Jesus, we will 
believe the same way he believed. We will do the works of the law like he did. In fact, as a matter of fact, Jesus himself, our Lord, said in the book of John chapter 14 that he that believeth on him, the works he do or he does, he will do. And if it greater works, and he says because he was going to the Father, and so we are here today following the ministry of Jesus. And as we follow his ministry, I know God by his spirit will raise us to minister the way Jesus ministered. Will raise us through the works the way Jesus did them. If you believe that, say amen. Say glory to the Lamb. Hallelujah. So we concluded last Sunday by looking at Jesus in a certain place ministering. And that was in the book of Matthew chapter 12. From verses 21, 22. 21 begins by saying, In his name shall all the Gentiles trust. And the Bible goes on to say that they brought unto him one possessed with that devil. And that devil was blind and that devil was dumb. And he commanded that devil to leave. And both the blind and the dumb speak and they saw a powerful miracle. And we say to those that were not with us that when you look at that man you can describe is conditioned by what you see. You can say, well, the man is blind or the man is deaf. But you will never know the cause. Yet according to that scripture, the cause was spiritual that cannot be seen by somebody's natural eyes. It has to take Jesus, our Lord, who is spirit and also is flesh to be able to discern what kind of spirit was operating in this man. And the Bible teaches us that he cast out the spirit and the man was made whole. And then the Pharisees had a problem. And they said, the reason why Jesus cast out demons because the king of demons. No, the king of demons. The chief of demons sits upon Jesus. He receives his anointing from demons. And Jesus told them, every kingdom that is divided against itself shall not stand. Today, I would like to continue from there. If you have your Bible with you, please, I want you to go to the book of St. Matthew again. Chapter 12. And I want to begin from verses 25. Jesus is replying their criticism. Jesus is telling them what they should hear. And this is what he told them. After they had said what they said in verses 24. From 24 they said. And when the Pharisees had it. They said. This fellow talking about Jesus. Doth not cast out devils. But by Belzebub the prince of the devils. So in other words the 
demons are giving us a show. They are pretending to deliver this one as they, as they use Jesus simply to let people that demons are powerful. But it's the work of demons. Are you hearing me somebody? Then he goes on to say verse 25. And the Bible says, and Jesus knew their thoughts. And he said unto them, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to dissolution. And every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? Verses 27. And if I by Belzebel cast out devils by whom do your children cast them out therefore they shall be your judges talking about their children talking about you and me. He says, if I do cast them out, the day will come when your children will cast them out. And when they do cast them out, do you think they will be casting out by demons? I think no. Because in that word, he said something powerful. He said something powerful. He said something powerful. He said, if I'm using the devils to cast out demons, when the day comes, you are children to cast them out. What will you say? What will you say? What will you say? Are you going to say demons? Are you going to say something different? What are you going to say? I want you to know that that day he was talking about is here. You hear what I just said? I said that day is here. Jesus is no longer here in the flesh. But God's children are here. And in his name, we still cast out demons. In his name, we still destroy the works of darkness. In his name, we still deliver people. Because he didn't say he was the only one. He says the day is coming when they are children talking about human flesh anointed by God by the spirit of God casting out demons in his name and that day has come in the name of Jesus I hearing me somebody then he goes on to verses 28 and says but if I cast out devils by the spirit of God then the kingdom of God is come unto you. One of the signs you know that God has come and his presence is here and his lordship is here is when you see demons leaving, when you see sickness leaving, when you see the work of Satan ending in people's life. That day has come the kingdom of God is here. Then he goes on to say verses 29. Or else how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods except he first bind the strong man and then he will spoil his house. I'm going to use for us subject, taking my topic from that verse, the strong man is bound. 
the strong man is bound. Therefore, his house can be spoiled in the name of Jesus. The one that rules that house, the chief of demons, has been dealt with. Therefore, the goods, he has been protected. It's time for you and me to spoil his house. Jesus came to deal with that strong man. And he dealt with the strong man. And because he dealt with the strong man, now the time came from that point up to day and beyond when we spoil the strong man's house. The strong man is referring to Satan. But also he gave an example. An example of casting out demons. An example of healing those that were oppressed by demons. And when he healed them, he was telling them, or he was helping them to understand that the chief demon behind these little demons has been dealt with. And therefore, arise, get into his house, and spoil the sickness, and spoil his demons demons and spoil his plans and destroy his fists, destroy his, his, his intentions because he's been dealt with uh, to a child of God. That truth must become a fact. You know, many of us talk about this fact and many of us talk about this principle of us say Satan is defeated. But we say it for the sake of saying it. But we never come to a place of believing with conviction that when it comes to my life, Satan has no total authority, has no total control to do anything wicked or bad. And even if it tries to come, the Bible tells me in the book of Genesis James chapter 4, from verses 7, that if I draw near to God, God will draw near to me. And if I rebuke Satan, he will flee away from me. And therefore me and you, there is no fight between demons and us. Satan knows it. Demons knows it. Our Lord and Savior knows it. The Holy Ghost knows it. The Bible tells it. God Almighty knows it. The angels in heaven knows it. But many times the child of God doesn't really understand it. And if he does, he doesn't really understand it with conviction. The strong man's house has been broken into. And the strong man has been bound. And if the strong man is bound, Jesus now tells us, go to the strong man and set every captive free. Break those chains. Destroy the works of Satan. Because the way has been made. The sacrifice has been given. The grave has been defeated. Death has been defeated. And Jesus is Lord over heaven, over earth, and under earth. And when Jesus our Lord rose from that day, he said to John from the book of Revelation chapter 1, from verse 17 going up, he said, John, fear not. I am the one that was dead, but now I'm alive forevermore. And I have the keys of hell and have the keys of death. He was referring to this day. He was referring to this day. When you come to a place of understanding that the 
place called Satan's household. As we open up by Jesus. And by faith, we can go into that household and spoil every, 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 every work. Spoil everything Satan has. And deliver God's people in the name of Jesus. Are you hearing me, somebody? I wish you could capture this in your spirit. For the church, Satan was defeated eternally. For the child of God, washed in the blood of Jesus, Satan was defeated on your behalf. Jesus did not have to come simply for the sake of coming. He came to deliver you. He came to make a way for you. He came to open a door for you. He came where Satan lives to spoil him, to get a hold of him, so that everything... Everything that he has been doing in your life and my life must come to an end. The strong man. Let something else fights you. But no demons. Because you are not at the same level. You are not at the same footing. You are not at the same level. You are not at the same level. You are not at the same level. You are not at the And Satan knows it. And God knows it. Child of God now know. And rise up in that faith. And there will come a time. When your faith is so strong. And your knowledge has become too, too much. And Satan knows that you know. And he will tell the world. Rebecca, I know. Rebecca, I know. Martin, I know. Martin, Momani. Paul, I know. Paulo, Momani. Kaziwe, I know. Kaziwe, Momani. When he comes in a place, Batuka, I have to pack my stuff and leave. Nina, Okusiba, Mu, Obwange, Nenvao. Because he is a principality in God's kingdom. Kwanga, Oyo. When I look at him in the spirit realm, I see a champion in God. I see a man and a woman who has come to believe in what Jesus did for him. Who has come to believe that every demon has no power over him. Who has come to a place of faith of knowing that Jesus gave him his name and gave him his power to cast out every demon. And because he has come to that place, now I have no business with his house, with his home, with his children, with his business. Let other things happen to him. But for me, I'm okay with him. That place you must come. And I believe as you hear this, these seeds of faith, you will cast out every demon. But that does not impress me so much. I'm looking forward for a day when you and me walk in a hospital and the demons simply say bye-bye. I'm looking for a day when we walk in the market and the sick simply get healed. It has happened before and it will happen again. Are you hearing me, somebody? Peter walked on the street and his shadow touched the people. Jesus walked in places of worship and demons begin to cry. 
and demons begin to say what have we got with you I pray for you child of God that you will come to faith and you will rise in the name of Jesus that instead of you wasting time saying demons go demons will flee without you saying anything the moment you come in the presence of God walks in the power of God is all around and the demons will say we have no business over here and I pray for you I speak in your life I declare to you I prophesy to you that you are rising now and God is anointing you and you are coming to that place when you don't have any, 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 any conversation that the devil doesn't have to talk to you and you talk back. But the moment you walk in a place, things begin to happen because now demons recognize who you are in the spirit realm, who you are in your understanding, who you are in your faith, and they have no business with you because the Bible tells us be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a lowering lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. And the Bible tells us, whom resist, steadfast in your faith. Are you hearing me, somebody? I bless you, child of God. I pray for the anointing of God. I pray for the spirit of revelation to rise in your spirit because the devil does not recognize your body. He has no respect to your body, but he has so much respect what is very resident in your spirit, in your heart, in your mind. And I believe God is raising you to that place. And in the name of Jesus, I rebuke fear, I rebuke doubt, I rebuke unbelief, I break those bondages, and I pull your spirit out of that. I pull your mind out of that. Be strengthened in the inner man by this gospel we have shared. God bless you. The next time I hear from you, I am expecting a powerful testimony. And I walked in that room where the sick were and the presence of the Lord raised them from the dead, from the sick bed in Jesus' name. Now the truth we have shared works for only people who know Jesus. To a man and a woman who doesn't know Jesus, you are still a home you are still a tabernacle where demons have freedom. Where Satan has freedom. In fact, the Bible calls you a child of Satan. John chapter 8, verses 44. But today that can change when you receive Christ in your life. And receiving Christ in your life is the simplest way. And I'm going to lead you Raise your hands on the Father in the name of Jesus. Thank you for sending Jesus to die on the cross to set me free from every demonic activity, from every satanic activity, from the sin nature. I give you all the praise. And today in Jesus' name, I receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I believe he died and he rose from the dead for me. I accept his free gift that he brings the gift of eternal life, the gift of righteousness, the gift of sonship. And today, in Jesus' name, I'm a child of God. If you pray that prayer with faith, now you are born again. 
please write to us. Let us hear that testimony. And we will share it with our world. And we will rejoice for what God has done. Now we are going to give to the Lord. The Bible tells us that it's more blessed to give than to receive. The Bible says if we give liberally, we shall receive liberally. And grace, 2 Corinthians chapter 8, Eight, will be released upon us and we will come out of lack. So as you give, I pray for that grace. I pray for that anointing. I pray for mercies upon your life. In Jesus' name. I pray God's blessing upon every tithe, upon every giver. And may the Lord rebuke the devourer for your sake. And may the Lord bless the works of your hands. In Jesus' name. Amen. amen. And amen. amen. And amen. amen. Child of God, we love you so much. And remember, we are praying for you. That God will fulfill every promise he has given you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Praise is the name of the Lord. Today we still have we have a very special announcement of the weddings. Scientific weddings of our brothers and sisters. On the 4th of September at 10 o'clock here at Dominion Church International. We will be wedding our brother and sister. Brother Ninsima Herbert. And sister Nalubowa Rose. We will be blessing them as they make their covenants to enter into a marriage contract or covenant as the Lord commanded when he said therefore shall a man leave his father and mother and the two shall become one and the Bible goes on to say what therefore God has joined together let no man put aside and that wedding will take place on the 4th of September which is next week Saturday. Yes, Saturday a week, yeah. On that same day, we have our brother Elisa Sendaula and sister Rita Nakaiza, Rita Nakaiza getting married at the same time. No, at the same place, sorry. Here at Dominion Church. The wedding of Nisima Herbert and Nalboa Rose will take place at 10. 10 a.m. And the wedding of our brother Elisa and sister Rita will take place at 12 p.m. And all these two weddings, they are by invitation. If you are not invited, please, Bambi. You will watch us one day online. We will put some clips on WhatsApp. That's what our president told us. And, and since we are a law-abiding citizen, we will abide by that. Please pray for them and bless them in Jesus' name. We love you. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you and us all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen.